Okay, so we want to create, implement a, we move a node or a vertex from a graph data structure. So use your graph uh, data structure, and then here's your method that we want to implement called remove vertex. It takes the value of the, the node or vertex that you want to remove. So let's just say um, here's your graph, and you want to remove this node number six. So uh, what you would do is essentially you want to remove that node, right? And then you want to get rid of the edges that were prior connected to it, right? So we, then we want to delete this, this edge. And you want to delete that edge too. But well, I want to delete it here. Good as this eraser. So yeah, but you get the idea. So yeah, so how would you implement that in JavaScript code? So, um, so since your graph essentially is um, um, all it is is just an array of the node objects. You want to find the index. Maybe you can rename this node index um, or vertex index or something of the graph. So this graph array of vertices, find the index um, of that node where the value equals the value. So in this case, six, just say like this was the last node that we had added. And since there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it would be the six index. So this number would be six. You know, and um, so yeah, and then if the index doesn't, if it equals negative one, so if there isn't this node, so if we're looking for the number eight in this, um, it won't find it, so it would return negative one as the index. Then you just don't do anything and you return, and then you're good. Anywho, but so then, <clears throat> so then you want to create a reference to the removed vertex. Um, so, um, so you want to pull that out or extract it from the graph. Um, indices so this graphs vertices splice which means just kind of extract extract um, the index that we have was six and then I don't know what one pertains to I think it's just one instance and then that will return an array of that um, of that object so that's why we have um, parentheses zero so it just gets uh, the object itself so here it's just it's the object so you just have a parentheses object notation curly braces you know and then, um, and then, so for um, now, now on the part, um, what I've been describing is we want to remove the edges since we already deleted this part, we extracted it from it. Now we want to remove this node, so, and it's this graph node in the in the object still, and its edges has a reference to six, but six no longer is, um, exists. So we have to delete this and this these two edges or relationships. So to do that, um, so that reference that we removed vertex that we had and its edges um, for each node in that, um, we want to remove the edge. So um, or, luckily already there's kind of like a baked in magical function. So this returns the graph of, um, of, yeah, down here, remove edge. So this remove edge has the logic that we're, that we're to remove a certain node and um, all of its and, and another node, so the two connecting nodes. So you would pass in like node one and node six, remove those edges from each other's um, data objects or attributes, essentially. So, but uh, yeah, so that's how you would do it. It's a little bit, a little bit more moving parts, uh, a little bit more difficult, you would think. But um, yeah, essentially, you just remove the node structure object, um, and um, and it's and it's all of its connections that have had to prior um, node objects as well.